morning happy friday i hope you're doing well let's go ahead and get to our reading for today if you've never been to my channel before i do not take jumpers i wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are ready let's go ahead and get to our reading for today thinking about making a video on how to shuffle tarot cards there's a few different ways to do it and to cleanse them, work with them. All right, let's get that Oracle card for today. Let's see where we're at. Ooh, open portal on the bottom. New beginnings, breakthrough. <laughs> Connect with the infinite. That is definitely happening for all of us. It is. All of us. Guidance from the spirit. Awareness above your head. Spirit is communicating. Support. Well, that is wonderful news. <clears throat> that we have guidance from the spirit. They're all just up there. The angels, they're just watching us, guiding us. They want the very best for us. They really do. And now, you know, just to be aware. To know that they're all around us, rooting for us, wanting us to do great things. That's what they're telling me. <clears throat> Believe in the infinite possibilities of the spirit. That's what they're saying. Okay, well, let's believe in the infinite possibilities of the guiding spirit today. Sounds perfect to me. All right. Let's go ahead and shuffle these up. Get us our cards today. Guidance from the spirit. You know, I'm looking at this, right? This card. And in here, you got Ave Maria, but they have the mandalas, but they have little spaceships. Do you subscribe to aliens and space travel? The source. Wow. She truly is beautiful, right? The divine. <clears throat> I'm just mesmerized by it. It's talking to me. I'm not sure what it's saying. Yes, we better get these mythical goddess cards. See if we can figure it out. <clears throat> My throat's a little bit more yucky today from, you know, post-COVID stuff. <clears throat> it's still trying to clear. Ooh, nice. Lately, a lot of cards have been coming out together, and so I've been taking a look at them. <clears throat> the undertone for the day is patience. Patience is a good thing. It's also a great song by GNR, Guns N' Roses. I love that song. <clears throat> I used to, when I first became awoke, woke up, realized my higher self and... <clears throat> My guides, I used to sing patience to the divine, <clears throat> to God. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. All right, our cards. We first one is illumination because we now are aware that we have guidance from the spirit above, that they are communicating to us. And it is definitely illuminating our minds with the possibilities. I mean, they're just endless, guys. The possibilities are endless when you're walking the divine. Yeah, that little bit of pessimism, it's still there. Like, really? Can I, can I just trust? Is the divine really there? I mean, are they... I mean, really, is it's all going to be okay? And And I get it. I mean, it can be scary, right? When you've never done it before to give your life over. 
to the unknown, to the divine, to God, and the earth. It can be a little scary. You might wonder, well, what can they really do for me? Can it really help me? <clears throat> can it help me to heal my heart? What exactly can it do for me? I've felt this way my entire life. Could it possibly do for me? I don't know who that is, but I'm going to tell you something. I promise you, the more you work with the divine, the more you call that spirit down to you, the more you'll see the change, the more you'll feel it in your heart of hearts. I promise you, the pessimism will continue to go away. <clears throat> Manipulation, yeah, I know. But like I'm telling you, I promise you, the only things manipulating us are our mind, the negative thoughts telling us we can't do something, society is telling us that society telling us that we have to do something a certain way. The divine is not manipulating us. I promise you. Alright, you just let it go and just ask for some guidance and see how it goes. So these cards here that came out all together, um, we're going to go over them, all right, because they tell a story. Okay, so you have the cleansing when you first come to the earth, and, right, and you ask the, the guidance, right, from the earth, from the spirits, from the mother, from the father, right, and you realize that you're divine and they're working with you and your spirit and your hearts and they're cleansing out all the old and bringing in the new you just have to go with it let go of the pessimism and then you'll have the maiden of passion right the more you work the more you call your guides down the more passionate you'll become about the divine about your love for them about infinite possibilities you'll just have passion for just so much because You'll feel that love in your heart and there's just, there's no stopping it. I promise that it'll just lighten you up from the inside out, right? And yes, there are conflicts that are going to arise. They'll arise in your life. They'll arise within you. Um, but the conflicts are okay because we're growing. You know, growing pains are real. And, but once you take that step and you work with the internal conflict or maybe some conflict in the outside world as you're changing, but when you deal with it and then you see the outcome of just one little change, it's glorious. And it you know, wants you to do more and more and more. Well, it does for me. But when we resolve, and then we resolve our conflicts by forgiveness. Remember that. Forgiveness is key to everything, to truly forgive. And it can be hard. It can be a challenge. It can. Uh, you know, sometimes we still have to work every day on forgiving some things, right? Like, yep, yeah, no, we forgave that. We don't have to worry about that anymore. No, nope, we forgave that. We let that go. It's not, it's not on our plate anymore. It's not on our shoulders. We let it go. And what you end up with is everything every divine blessing you can think of shining down from the heavens above I mean Emma Teresa um, it's just everything every blessing every light every bit of love and peace and calm it's just coming down to guide us and I I promise you it's all real it's not fake I get the pessimism when you, when you've been beat up your entire life, like I feel I was when I was a child. I I didn't have parents. I. I did. Don't get me wrong. They were there, but they weren't parents. They weren't. Um, they didn't raise me. Like my mom didn't cook. My dad beat us all the time, and you know I I I forgave. I and I saw them as people, but it can be hard to know that that love is real. And that there is truly a divine presence in the world that, that loves us and, and wants to hold us and heal all of our wounds, all of our scars. Just take them all away and make us pure light. I mean, what a glorious thought is that, right? And it's real. 
when you start to pray and you work with the inside, you don't even have to call it prayer. You can call it meditation. You can call it, you know, seeking to speak with your higher self, whatever you want to call it. Um, once you start doing it and you start understanding more and more that it's all very real, there is a real energy that moves around us that creates this vibration, if you will, that people are always talking about. It's real, and the more you do it, that that level changes. It does, the frequency, the, the vibrational force from the energy surrounding you, it, it does change. To me, it's electric, and it feels totally wonderful, right? And I'll go around singing um, the electric slide, right? It's electric, but whatever. Um, it does start to feel different. And if for no other reason, try that. Try calling the spirit down just to, to see the difference in how you feel with the energy around you. If that's one way to help you look at it, to try it. Let's go ahead and get our healing energy for the day. You know, and have patience, all right? Now, I, I, I do understand, all right, patience, clarity, sacrifice, expression, mother, I mean, it's all there. It's all there. I mean, you just have to, a little bit of patience and a little bit of trust, just a little bit of trust, just try it. What can it hurt, right? You might feel a little silly, but it's only because you've never done it before. I mean, if you would like to light a candle for peace, we can do that together, too. I can teach you how to light a candle for peace. Cast a little love light around you, right? Not a love spell. Light. In the divine. Call the spirit down to protect you and guide you. Just go grab a white candle. Let's grab a white one. They're good for everything. You know, hold on to it. Put your energies into it. Set your intention for what you want to happen. Light it. It's a good start. Send your heart out to the universe. Guidance. What a beautiful card to get today. And wisdom's on the bottom. Yeah, wisdom comes from that inner knowing, that, that looking inside. That's where our wisdom comes from. Our ancestral DNA. When, when we when we listen with our hearts and we speak to our higher self and we ask for that guidance, you'd be pretty amazed at some of the information that you get coming in. Um, so let's go ahead and read guidance. I love to be guided by the divine. I know that they will guide me and keep me from harm. Like, I do believe sometimes something happens and it keeps me from leaving the house. I, I truly believe they're probably keeping me from an accident or something bad happening. I think everything happens for a reason. Absolutely everything. All right. Go on to guidance. In times of uncertainty, I ask God to guide me to the light in my being. I am directed to doors that will open inner freedom to me and step forward in trust. I release my fate to God and my faith is rewarded. So yeah, the whole story I just told you, letting go of your pessimism, asking the, gu the, the guides and your angels, just ask them to help you. Ask them to come and be with you. Just, just try it. Let go of the pessimism. We can talk daily if you want. You can reach out to me. Um, Healingwithsimoon at gmail.com. Drop a comment here. You know, um, just reach out. It's glorious. Let's let's make this journey together. I'll take it with you. I'll help you every step of the way. Just reach out to me. Okay? All right. Love and light, guys. Let's read it one more time. In times of uncertainty, I ask God to guide me to the light in my being. I am directed to doors that will open inner freedom 
to me and step forward and trust. I release my fate to God and my faith is rewarded. Well, that sounds lovely to me. Give it a try. Right? And and I promise if, if you are having a hard time and you're not really sure, reach out to me. Reach out to someone. And if you find value and like my videos, hit like and subscribe. Share them with your friends. Let's get the word out there and keep going. All right. Bye-bye.